Okay, we're ready to do Runway Rundown. So undress the knees, stud. Get ready to dish it out. Runway Rundown, Abby, is the good, the bad, and sometimes the ugly. Uh, I know. What I call it is what were you thinking? What were you thinking? Exactly. You thinking? And, and I'm here in this gorgeous dress salon. However, <laughs> parlor, whatever. But Couture Salon. Couture to Salon. Be exact. Yes. Couture Salon. At Rodeo Drive in yes. Beverly Hills for yes, 30 years. Yes, you're on the same street as Louis Vuitton. With my name on the door, Paul Attu, just yes. to mention. Louis Vuitton is right but out I, the window. I'm just there. saying, when I see some people on the runway, I'm like, you couldn't run down there, downtown this morning and get a dress. Honey, downtown, girl. You could have. But Let's they not talk about no, those no, no, downtown alleys. No, 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 no. But some of the stuff that they run. Yes. Some of the stuff that they wear. Yes. They would have been better off if that they morning did go. running downtown. Yes. Okay, I love this girl. She was one of your oh, students. Oh. Um, I think she's so cute. You're I, make me get into very trouble. shady. <laughs> very, any more trouble than you already said when people were writing receipts and <laughs> taking your money? Go ahead. Anyway, I love this girl. Um, she's at the American Music Awards. Ooh. Uh, I always like what she's wearing. It's always fun. It's always different. I'm not a fan of this. It's all black. Who is it? it she, she's got. It's JoJo Siwa. Is it JoJo. Oh, yeah, let me see. It's JoJo, but it's not my favorite outfit I on her. I gotta this. say, it's really JoJo's not my favorite. JoJo's wearing a off-the-shoulder ruched bodice with a it's transparent ruffles. skirt. Ruffles, ruffles, ruffles. It's so that she can showcase her legs. I think it's not the dress. Go ahead. I think Abby, the dress is wearing think? her. I don't think she's wearing the dress. That's the well, problem. Well, I'm the one that. that says that all the time. The oh, dress you? doesn't wear you. You wear the dress. Well. I, I just think you expect to see JoJo in bright, fun colors. Yes. She's young. You can wear black for the rest of your life. Right. So why wear it when you're 19? So was she going to a funeral here? No, she was going to the AMAs. Maybe this is a JoJo I don't want to be seen. I want to blend in. At the AMAs? I don't know. It wow. looks like that to me, doesn't Do you, it? You don't like the dress, She's though. so cute, though. She's a cute kid. She is cute. How She's old is built she great. Now? Her 19? 19. 19. 20. I wow. think. Oh, wait, 19? I was just invited to the birthday party, and <laughs> I couldn't go. I was out of the country. I think she's 20. Okay. Wow. So I think You can wear black forever, a, so why wear it now? The right. dress is a very pretty dress. Yes. I think it doesn't do justice for her shape because it's not proportioned properly for her configuration agreed i think it's too and adult all those ruffles do, 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 yeah do in it's here. too adult of a dress for her and she should have worn higher heels in order for her to be able to carry such a substantial and and the, why is the skirt. dress on the floor what is that what, i mean the train because on the she floor, couldn't but not hem the it front. up less than forgot the rest and walked out on the red carpet she's a pretty girl but sorry jojo you fail epic fail on this one it's sorry a it's, it's a, a fail mess. This one, sometimes we critique you, Abby. Okay, so okay. we're going to critique you this time. Oh, God. <laughs> but I have to say, I like what you're wearing. I love, I love the, it's all black. It looks very, to me, like, I love the necklace. Oh, that's when I had cancer. Yeah, that's a wig. It's a wig? Yeah, I'm in pretty bad shape there. But you look really good. And it's a black little sundress from H&M. Okay. Somewhere. And uh, a necklace, and yeah, that's it. I think your confidence really shows that you are who you are with the off the shoulder, the way you're sitting in the chair, with the boobs hanging low, the look that you're giving, and the energy that you're exuding. So it's not really confidence, about the dress, but sick. But it's about your yeah. That demeanor. was that was chemo. Wow, but you look. Yeah. That's great. after you had chemo. That was during. I think that was my birthday. Okay. When I was allowed out for a day. Um, oh, because you were chemo. still in... Yeah, I, my chemo was inpatient. Wow. I, it was seven days long. Ouch. Yeah, seven days, and then I went for 23 days the rest of the month so to where, a rehabilitation So where did you go? What facility. did you do? What was this? I think that was just a photo shoot before I went to my birth. Oh, that was a, a, it's Us Weekly. It was a, nice. a, we did a photo shoot for Us Weekly. Because I they wasn't invited story. to the birthday party, I'm just saying. You weren't? <laughs> no. It was a Peppa, a Becca, Buck, what is it called? Becca. Boca de Peppa, my Buca, favorite play. Oh. I'm sorry. Boca de Peppa. Don't have me say that wrong. Boca de Peppa. I wasn't and invited it was there either. Fabulous. And it was an open bar. Please and tell it was me more. This and that. They were so good to me. They it were was so amazing. good to you. And I, we went to pay and they were like, Okay, babe, we're going to the next birthday. And I wasn't invited, but you had all those backstabbing bitches there probably, I'm sure. <laughs> no, they were not there. They weren't there no. either. Okay, no. this just came out yesterday. I think Satan was there, though. Okay, oh, well, great. Oh. Satan was there, but I wasn't. Jesus Christ right here. Oh, Satan. Oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. I guess. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Um, this one just came out today, and I don't know. Everyone is criticizing this campaign from Kim Kardashian from Skims, but I gotta say, I would fuck everybody in this picture. <laughs> Kim Kardashian included. They all look amazing. The girls, the guys. I don't care. They're fucking hot. Oh no, they look amazing. But why are they trashing this campaign? Oh, I don't know, because they can. I don't like when <laughs> I don't like when people cut their feet off. Like I would have had this girl's foot not disappear. I would have had her bend this knee or pull this knee up a little bit. And the, this foot over here, I'm I would sure have had her flick it up. I'm sure there's a lot more pictures out there. I, this I know. is just one of many. And then many. her foot's chopped off too. I hate that. But I think they all look great. What I don't like about Kim's dressing, yes, her waist is so small, and it gets so big so quick that you. She everything she wears is spandex. Yeah, like this is leather. This she is wears, the new sk Skims is leather. But everything is stretchy because right. she can't wear a nice, beautiful pair of. Size what do you call? What do you call slacks. these dance moves that they're trying to do? And are they in the proper shape? I would do that in my are bedroom. That's a that's an aerial. That's a hoop, and it's part of aerial silks, and that's a. That's like a trapeze ring. Would you take aerial these silks. girls to a competition, or do you think they're just models? I think they're models. That had some trying experience to something. in silks, yes. yeah. Because I don't know about this position. It looks awkward to me. Tell, it, tell our audience what distended. the position is, Paul, that are listening. I feel like her neck looks distended. Because they're listening. Some of them are not seeing the picture, so tell them which position you're talking about. Oh, she's about. sitting on oh, top of a hoop. So she has welcome. one leg bent. You're welcome. The other leg's hanging down. Can I do that? And <laughs> yes. one arm. For those of you that are listening, my husband just gave me the middle finger. Go ahead. <laughs> well, when they get home, they have to look up the picture. So... When she described a hoop and she the, said the dangling yes, girl. Yes, the, the dangling and a hoop. She looks really awkward. And I think they're designed to be able to get a good photograph. And I don't think they were all done simultaneously. I think the oh. pictures that were done separate that they've put well, a Well, they were done together. individually. There's no excuse then. Yeah. Yeah. They, because Do a graphic designer put this foot and hit it instead of moving that up a half an inch and showing the rest of the, a leg creates a line. Yeah. You want that leg to be That's a right. beautiful line, not chopped off. So, but when I'm looking at what they have, I think the message here is it's Kim. It's Kim. Yeah. And yeah. it should be all about Kim. So get the rid of the rest of the people. But I think the <laughs> I mood is all about a different kind of a Kim. She's expressing her being single. She's expressing herself being skinny on Ozempic. She's well, if we're talking about Kardashian, yes, and we're talking about clothes, yep. yeah, she's not wearing much, but yeah, those little girls, little girls, I get sick. Yes, her daughter North, oh, so yeah. cute, such a big personality, fabulous in black. These big black baggy clothes all the time. Even when she was a baby, she was wearing black, 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 black. I mean, come on. What, what do you feel about when they said that Kim Kardashian's daughter North has a million dollar wardrobe? What's wrong with that? Do you that? think that's a little too much for a child? A million dollar wardrobe? Is it all black? Everything? A million dollars not, not of wardrobe. None of it fits her. Is. None of it fits the kid. Like, properly. Yeah. Could, it be, could it be because she's not where she needs to be? And she's growing, yet she wants to be venture cool out teenager. with a couture Maybe. line of clothes that are adult. And they're just made a little bit smaller to fit her. Because she can. Maybe. Well, she's Maybe. north. She can. I just think when, when Kanye was in the picture, he dressed them all in his stuff. And but he, big right. he wears men's. black all yeah. the time. Yeah, and black. Yeah. Like, but he know, got But he but got. wear like pink bows and like be a cute I don't think I've ever girl. seen that, ever. No. Yeah. Now, uh, what's her name? Kylie? She, her little one oh, is yeah. dressed all cute. Yeah. And Chloe's little girl is yeah. dressed all cute. Yep. So I, I don't know what Kim, I think Kim's worried about Kim. What do you think about Courtney being pregnant? You know. We're doing runway right now. Wait a minute. I we're will not tell this. you. I will tell you yes. her, her husband. Yep. Travis Barker. Travis Barker used to come to my dance studio. Really? Because his daughter, Alabama, took class. Oh. I even think his son took some hip-hop classes, too. But Travis would come in and be there with all the parents. We had a oh, lot of sweet. celebrities. And there would be Heidi Klum and, you know, Seal and all these different people there. And it was quite an exciting 
moment in the studio all, every week, week after week after week, they were there. And Alabama was darling, a beautiful child. Okay. And uh, Travis was a great customer, nice, nice as he can paid be his to bill. Oh yeah, he paid. <laughs> Any other? You know who else? You who know else? who else? This is a funny story. Okay. Uh, who hasn't paid their bill? No, 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 not in LA. I wasn't doing that again. See, I did learn. From my <laughs> you had to learned. put a credit card on file when you walked in the door. Uh, okay, yes. tell us. So. Uh, what happened to Runway Rundown? Wait, Wait this just is just another guy. Finish. This is another guy. Another okay. guy, and I can't think of his name. He has a lot of kids. Okay. Tons oh. of kids. Tori Spelling's husband. No. <laughs> the other one. Uh, uh, you know it. You know it. Come on, help me. From what show? He's an actor. Okay. Oh, no, he, they're not. Yeah, everybody in LA is. And what he's show? an actor, and he, and he also hosted that. Ryan Seacrest. Kids. No, he's. No, he hosted a kids no. show. And he hosts what? Carson Daly? Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. Oh, Nick Cannon. Okay. Yes. Nick Cannon, super guy. Yep. So nice to me. I see him on the plane all the time. So nice. He of did course, because you Jojo. fly first class. He did show with JoJo because they have to drag my ass onto the plane. Well, how else can she got stuff $100,000 in her little... Uh, oh, my God. Okay, go, go ahead, ahead, Abby. Please Please Nick Cannon. Jesus. It's all going to come back up again. <laughs> Why? Oh you already God. went to jail for it I or know, prison. We, want it, we don't want it in the press again. Oh, okay. Okay. This is not press. No I did not come here for that. All your Justinistas scratch that remark. Don't okay. worry. Nick Cannon. Half of them can't. Can we hear about Nick Cannon? Came Half into the of studio. our listeners can't even hear because they're deaf. So don't worry okay. about it. Come so on. Nick Cannon came into the studio and okay. signed up Rock and Row. Oh, twins. okay. Nice. He remembered their names? And Mariah never brought them. What? Nope. Well, Mariah wasn't going to bring them. She never Girl, brought them. The, the driver would bring she, them. Nobody brought them. And we oh. ran his card every month. Oh, I love customers so like that. So he paid and never brought the kids. Why did he bring wow. the kids? I don't know. I guess the day that it's, it didn't work out. They had so they many other. They were she, committed to other things. She was supposed to bring them. Oh, because they were divorced at that yes. time. Yes. I see. Okay, so I got one more look. Abby, I'm sorry, but this look for me, this was Kids Choice Award 2017. You were the star in oh. this outfit on the red carpet, I love orange it. carpet. It's the Royal Blue Camilla. No, oh, no, no! I don't know what you were thinking. Okay, Royal. What is that? It hurts my eyes, but you oh, can... <laughs> yeah. Well, I had I wanted to wear orange because I wanted to match the carpet. Why like don't I wanted you to tell us with what you are wearing? Where is the orange? Tell us what you're There's wearing. There's orange leopard spots in there. It's leopards and zebras, and it's orange and it's bright. You have are to you wear proud bright. of this look? And these shoes are rhinestone. Tell me you're proud of this look. You're wearing yeah, a. I like it. You're but I wearing... thought it was the the year before I wore the blue. When I won, I wore the blue Camilla from Australia. Are those culottes or what are those, Paul? What are they they're, called? They're just a cropped leg. Okay, so <laughs> let me. So let's talk about. They're not this. culottes. <laughs> they're not pedal pushers. So let me just let's a talk about leg. this. Pants. <laughs> was your curler? The pants, I, the pants are also Eileen Fisher. Just okay. throwing it out. Oh great, it's QVC. <laughs> so, uh, your so your curlers stopped working for a while. Because the like hair is not that great either. Oh, it's so sweaty there. It's like you're going to uh. pass out. Your makeup looks very, very soft. Your accessories look like you worked very hard to try but to But you had a spray together. tan, right? I just have a stone bag and, some, yeah. and a stone, black stone well, bracelet. Well, you've got your watch, your ring. Yeah. yeah. And then your clutch is kind of cute. I, I understand I like the clutch. That. Just black stone. But can I say that the top is not flattering because you look like you're going on a safari. <laughs> well, have you been to the Kids' Choice Awards? Yes, but not, it's a jungle out there. It is a jungle out there. <laughs> it's a jungle <laughs> out there. That's a great there. comeback. But <laughs> did you put this look together yourself, or did probably you have a stylist do it? Probably an hour before I went. I was really probably, yes. And I have to tell you that you should wear long pants. Ankles, well, I, I ankles should never be shown because your proportions do not do justice here. I because have really tunic, long legs. The tunic is it's too long. long for the proportion of the pants. So okay. if the pants were nope, longer, taken. lesson exactly. learned. This and, is the designer. And the next time we we're going to be wearing a tunic, don't wear skinnier pants. Wear full, full cut. Drapey. Because what it's going to do is it's going to give you an elongated feel. You're going to look more fluid, and you're going to the sway of the movement is going to make you look a lot thinner. Okay. But never. Where is this tunic <laughs> top now? Did you lose it or burn it? Burn it. It's gone. Okay. Thank God. Never wear this again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm taking it like a man. But if you, but if you had called me, even one minute before you walked down the carpet, I would have 
<laughs> had this drape to the side, make it more asymmetrical, okay. and giving you an, an extended leg that you would have looked stunning in. See, he's so good at because this. So just make, throw, it on an, throw it on an angle and a long fluid pant. Yes. Okay. Babe, what yeah. are you, a designer or something? Okay. Sometimes. That's it for Runway Rundown. Well, so she, now we get to introduce. Hold on. Let me, let me fan her yes. a little bit. She's sweating. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. I'm good. I'm she good. Was with my with my, my hair was in a clip. So if, when he talks about me after I leave, Yes. My hair was in a clip, and I just took it down, and this is it. No hairspray, no teasing comb, nothing. Oh, it's we're not good. done yet. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Don't miss it. Yes. Hey, Abby, so we're going to do a new game that we're introducing. Actually, it's called... This is in your honor. Yes. Since, you, since you're the queen of pyramid. Yes, we're calling it pyramid, but because we're two gay boys, we're calling it pyramid top or bottom. <laughs> So what's going to happen is I'm going to throw something to you, or Paul's going to say something to you. And if you agree, it's top. If you don't agree, it's bottom. Okay, I'm ready. And tell us why. You can tell us I'm quickly ready. why you picked that answer. Ah! Oh my God. Paul just sneezed. All right, Is ready, Paul? Right? You going first? Mission Impossible. Top or bottom? Top. Why? It's Mission Impossible. It's always on top. Because I want a car like that. I know, right? Yes. Oh my God. Okay, let me put on my Cheaters Club glasses. Isn't you it can Tom get... Cruise? Yes. yes. Well, of course it's on top. Yes. Come on. Cheaters Club glasses, you can get yours at ccieyewear.com. Use the code word undressed and you get 20% off. Okay, um, I've got the Barbie movie doing a sequel, top or bottom? Top. Why? Well, if you do the dream house, then you have to do the camper and the boat. Yeah. Is Ken really gay? I hope I so. I would not have cast him for Ken. Oh. <laughs> Hell no. I would have okay. cast... Matthew you wouldn't have, no. ca you wouldn't have no, cast Math Ryan Gosling? Math Matthew Noska. Okay, I got one. Ryan Seacrest replacing Pat Sajak as the new host on Wheel of Fortune. Top or bottom? Odd. Top. You think that's good? Yeah. Should have Vanna be White had, uh, been oh, able to do it? she didn't it? want it? I, I didn't no. think she they said that she's too over. old. What? Yes. yes. Oh no, she should get something besides turning those letters around. She doesn't turn them anyway. She just so then that would be a bottom, not a top. No, well, that would be the bottom of the pyramid. I like him though. You know, till a couple of weeks ago, okay, for years, okay, his phone number and his name is stuck on the front desk at the studio because Ryan Seacrest called and left the number to call him back. Okay, and my secretary at the studio like flipped out and thought <laughs> this is the greatest achievement in the world, and it stayed there forever. Yeah. So go ahead. Well, true story. When Paul did the dress for Annie Nicole Smith and we were listening, remember, Kiss FM in the morning, Ryan Seacrest was playing the clip from Annie Nicole screaming out, who are you wearing? Oh, my designer, my best friend, Paul Atu. And he was so excited. See, we like Ryan. Yeah, top, we like Ryan. The top. A little short, but, but we like okay. him. Okay. How about um, Pyramid Top or Bottom? Where'd you get that short crack that he just made again? Did you get it? Did you I said Ryan Seacrest is a little short. He is shorter than me. Okay, well. Yes. We've stood next side by side okay. when he started American Idol. <laughs> okay. When my limo pulled up and he goes, how do you get a limo to pull up? And I have to go in that old car when it was his first season. Mm -hmm. yeah, Years, babe. I was at the studio. Um, top or bottom, bachelor or bachelorette? No, bachelor and bachelorette. Do you like the Bachelor no. or Bachelorette franchise? Bottom. Why don't you like the franchises? I. Uh, it lost its luster after Chris. Did you ever yeah, watch? Yeah, yeah, I liked it with him better. Yeah. I I never really watched it. It's just too many hot guys, and I don't like seeing all those hot girls. Competition. Mm. But you date younger men. I I try. <laughs> Every time I see you, Abby, on a date, it's with a younger man, like half your age. Okay, okay. I've got one. Andy Cohen dancing with. Vice President Kamala Harris, top or bottom? Andy Cohen, top. Yeah. Got it. dancing. But with the Vice President dancing, it's, a little... it's dancing. Who okay. cares? Okay. How about Vicky Gundelson returns to R H O C, Orange County? I don't know who that is. She doesn't know. She doesn't care. She doesn't watch Housewives. I know. I wanted to be on it. You did? Yeah. Which and Housewife? Any of them. You don't, oh. you don't watch any of them. And then I you think all dance. of your children should take dance class. And the only one is Teresa Judice's daughter that dances. 
Has her daughter ever been to your studio? No, but I want to set up a private with her when I go when I'm in. New Have York. any of the stu- the Wait, housewives' she, daughters? I don't think any of them dance. Oh. Wait. Can she afford it? Oh, she has money. She's got so much money now. Which one yeah, is it that yes. doesn't awesome. have any it's money? It's like 149 bucks. For you, okay, how about this one? I've got one for you. Bucks. I've got one for you. It was revealed today that Prince William's annual salary is $7.5 million. Prince William. Yes. Yeah, the older. The future He's king. not the Harry that's over here. No, not no, Harry. No. Uh, Top or bottom? I hope that little girl comes to my dancing school. <laughs> uh Is that a lot for him? I, well, they spend over hundred know. million dollars on wardrobe and everything for their lifestyle. So seven million for his salary, I don't get it. Yeah. But you know how much the Queen's funeral was? No. Two hundred and four million dollars. Wow. I think that was cheap. Mine's gonna be more expensive. <laughs> Oh, I really think mine's going to be more expensive. I, I, you know how many people are going to come out and throw daggers at me? Oh, my God. Do you think that's enough money, though, for him as the prince? Well, if everything in his life is paid for, everything, yeah. then that's okay. No, but everything is paid for, and he just gets $7.5 million extra. Well, that, why then not? Then he's, that's top. That's good. Okay. okay. Yeah, but he needs coffee what once she in a get? while. I don't know. Kate Middleton? Yeah, she's a good princess. I like I, her. She is good. Except she stands with that person in front of her crotch. That I don't like. All the, but I like her. Yes. I definitely she needs do. To bend your elbows more so you should be. T- you pelvis. should be talking. Did you see that leopard print that you, how you were holding your clutch? So, uh, hello. What do you, you should think? Not be I don't, I don't stand with anybody. my hands in front of my crotch. I think it's <laughs> on the subject of royals. What do you think of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle? I'd love your opinion on them. Everybody's. Everybody you know, they just lost their twenty million dollars Spotify deal. What do you feel about that? <laughs> and the UTA president, uh, president of UTA, said she's untalented. Why? She was on Suits. Well, I just, I don't know. I think she got her hooks into him. You think so? Do you like Meghan Markle? I don't know her. If she brings her little girl to dancing school, then I will. Naomi Campbell welcomes baby number two at age 53. Wow. Your mom had you when she was 38. Yep. That was old back then. So now. 53. What do you think? Naturally, someone else had it for her. I think she had it, right? Oh, it's so un Hollywood like. You should always play around. Yeah, I want to have their see, own baby the anymore. The reason why I don't have my own children is I was always waiting for them to be like in a fish tank so you could just like feed the fish in every day, like <laughs> drop in the fish food and the baby. Who would has drop. their own oh baby? Then the baby comes anymore. out and it's 16, you give it a car and you're done. Uh, yeah, I, I think if she, she had it herself, whoa, and healthy and everybody's doing well, then top. Do you think she'll ever? live that reputation down of throwing the cell phone at her assistant. It was a whole phone at the whole time. <laughs> Cord and all. I mean, what did the assistant do wrong? See, yeah, both sides. Well, assistants <laughs> always make a mistake. I know. That's and why then when assistants. you're in the heat, it's passionate. Would you ever throw a phone at your assistant? She probably has. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, have you have ever you thrown, thrown a phone, phone, phone at your, at your assistant? assistant? No, but I threw a chair at Satan. You oh. threw a chair at Brian? Was that when Wait, wait, wait. The... We got to hear. Why did I you throw like a chair? I just threw the chair. Why? In disgust. Oh. Because I was furious. About? Because I was teaching a child a dance on a chair. Yep. And for safety reasons, they like you to give the mothers jobs to do. I could have very easily had my prop guy at my studio put the rubber stoppers on the bottom of the four legs of the chair. So it wouldn't slide out from underneath her when she jumped off of it and did it. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Makes it. sense. And, but instead I had to give the task to the mother. So I gave the job to the mother the, the day before, have the rubber stoppers on tomorrow. And she well, didn't do it. Coming to the studio, the kid does an elbow stand, chair slides out from under her, the kid's gonna get hurt, it's gonna be my fault. Yeah, it's my studio. Yeah, sure. Right. And uh, I flipped out on the mother, I'm screaming, I'm yelling, and then the kid starts to cry. She's obviously upset. Yep. I'm screaming like a lunatic, not at her, Yes. but just at her general. about her mother, right? Yeah. And Brian walks into the room, and I have the chair in my hands, and I'm going like this about the rubber stoppers up to the waiting room. Yep. And he walks in, and I like went like this to it, like, ha, here, I'm finished. Because he took them to the bar to yep. film them the night before, so she didn't have time to get the rubber stoppers on. But then why didn't somebody call me and have my guy do it at 8 in the morning? We would have had it. You had a conversation about that with them, though? No. Why not? Mm-hmm. I don't why know, would I you want to have a conversation and say, hello, this is what's been bothering me. Like, have a talk. I guess. I, 
I don't know why they didn't I want mean, these me on are the show. Why that... didn't I go on as a guest one yeah, yeah. week? If Brian were to call Maybe you tomorrow. Maybe they still had that show. Okay, Maybe if Brian were to, I have a question. If Brian were to call you tomorrow and say, Abby, I'm sorry, I fucked up. I've got a show for you. Let's get to work. What would you say to him? I would say three questions. Okay. Three questions. What network? Okay. Okay. What production company? Okay. Uh -huh. Am I an EP? In an actual working process, not in name only. Those would be the three questions. And you would put it all behind you and work with them? Yeah, I think he's a, a decent producer at, turn, at you know, stirring the pot. Right. Making people hate each other, ruining relationships. He's very good at that. But if you already know this in the real world about him, wouldn't you think that there was going to be something different than when he was taking it to the network and cut you out? Well, that's why I'd have to see all that in writing. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Um, the last thing, you and Paul apologizing and getting this, all the drama from before, because you remember the show and fighting and everything that happened. I know. And, and I, I, you were I, crying at the I, fashion show, and I fucking hated that. Well, I, How are we going to work this out? I just felt like it was like, I don't think people understand being in a wheelchair, what you go through. Okay. And it was the parking garage that had me insane. Yes. I didn't know where it was. I didn't know what I was walking into. I didn't realize that nobody at the parking garage would have a handicap space even available. Yeah. Because they were all the handicap spaces that were down on the first floor. They were the valet were using them up. Right. So you couldn't use those. So you're driving around and around and around and around. I don't think at that time I had been driving that long. No. And, and I don't I even was, think about those things I was because beside myself, I yep. was so worked up and so upset before I walked in. Then when I walked in, yep. I don't even know what sparked that. I couldn't tell you if you had a gun to my head, what sparked the chaos. I know that it wasn't, I wasn't like discrediting any of your dresses or anything like that. No, I what can tell was you. It? You, when you were there, the two kids were there, you were talking with them. I oh, go, dancing, dance girls. Yes. yes. And I go, hey, Abby, oh, I'm so glad you're here. Let me take you inside. And you went off at me. And you said, that fucking parking garage, who would have an event understand. here? <laughs> what the hell is this shit? Why didn't you tell me about this? And I let, I, I let you do it for a good three and a half, four minutes, it seemed like. It seemed like seemed a like, lifetime. Seemed like. No, no, no. It seemed like an hour and a half, but it was a good three and a half minutes. And then I said, you know, I didn't build that fucking parking garage. That sounds like I me. did not. <laughs> this is not my building. This is not. I'm just doing an event. So and you wouldn't let up. And at that point, I felt like you just needed to throw me under the bus, <laughs> the 18 wheeler and back up a couple of more times. And I. You were hurt. I Where were you all this time? Inside. I was inside. I usually oh, never. Was I was thinking off. I was going to be the host because the host didn't show up and they were trying to prep me to host the show. Okay, so you weren't. <laughs> I usually you probably would smooth everything. I that's I'm always like the peacekeeper. Yeah, but I usually. Oh wait, wasn't it that I couldn't get up to where you were? No, you could. The there was a ramp. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was a whole I ramp. remember being off somewhere. You calling were right someone. At, you were at the bottom. Of I know you were stairs. lost in the hotel and stuff yeah, like that. There was all kinds of shit. And I, I get was all actually that. just coming back from the bathroom, so I had no idea what was going on. Oh, and on. every five feet, I had to take pictures with someone. Right. Right. Well, I didn't have to, but yeah. I was asked yeah, yeah. to take pictures. Yeah. And then well, I would. I... I would more than apologize to you. See. Absolutely, I'm sorry. We have put this but, behind. But I, me. yeah, but those places aren't really handicap accessible we found that out we didn't but know was that it, then but was it necessary to go off on someone that you were there to support that i appreciate the fact that you came out and then didn't we do the dancing and i did the choreography yes it was amazing yeah, like i like so I, I would do anything to help you out wasn't we know that but like, it was but it just, then when yeah. you were yelling at me in public yeah i you, shouldn't have come at an event that i was hosting and everyone there was watching that I think hurt me. Well, so, I'm sorry that I hurt you. I'm sorry because that I when hurt it comes you. from somebody I, that you like, if we were a stranger, it'd be a different story. Yeah. But you weren't a stranger, and I'm like, okay, I don't understand. Like, uh, okay, like really, like 
I'm sorry. Yeah, but you I didn't, didn't. You didn't take it. You weren't like the pansy after three and a half minutes. You came yeah, back. Yeah, but it's strong. also, <laughs> but it's also the things you said when I walked away, because at was, that point I walked away and you said, "I've dealt with fairies like him, and he's nothing." When Ooh, you said did that, I say that, you did. I, yeah, I, and it was dealt, very. It hurt him. He was I've very. I dealt <laughs> with. I've dealt with fairies like, and I'm like. Were like, you in? Were you in rhinestones? <laughs> were you looking very? No. And I thought to myself, yeah. "Bitch, <laughs> excuse me." <laughs> Well, yeah, never, then you should have been mad. Yes. The, the fact that you're but saying you accept her apology about, like that about me. Yeah. And I thought to myself, you know, I don't deserve it under any circumstance. And no one's ever, ever conducted themselves and disrespected me in my own arena that they're welcome to. Yeah. And then humiliated me. And now on top of it, their impression of me is that I'm just that kind of a fairy that you can, oh, I've dealt with bigger ones. I'm like, you know what? You don't deserve the friendship. And well, at that, that point, and that's I right. That's right. I agree. That, you know what? If this is the friendship that you want to extend to me, I'm not interested because my friends are there completely to support me, love each other. Well, I came there to support you. A hundred percent. Yeah. And I should not have come. That's right. If anybody, you two were too busy, but anybody on your team or any of my girls right. would have contacted me. 20 minutes sooner and it would have said you know what don't come here you're not going to get in the garage you're not going right. to it's going to be a mess it's going to be yeah. no, you should I just not think, come it's a mess here and i don't no. think we, we i don't know think anybody those things. understands I even any see of that the, yeah well and i also just have to say i think when you two are doing something like that you're so wrapped up into what you're doing and what you need to do it's like putting on a recital yeah. like it's your show and 100%. you're putting it on and da 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 and there was nowhere to sit People were falling over me, backing into me. Right. This you were on the, the carpet on the way there. It was huge. No, 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 no. It no. was at the built No, door. sitting up in when I was watching the show. Yeah, when she was watching To watch the, the dancers. Uh, right. There was yeah. nowhere to No, sit. I saw that. If yeah. I was here, I, I, was, yeah. I was blocking people's view. If I went over in this aisle, I was blocking people's view. If I, I raised my chair up, I, they couldn't see behind well, me. Well, it wasn't that it was organized like, because, again, we, I yeah, thought I was, was going to host it 20 admit minutes it, before. Admit it. It was a shit show. Yeah. I, the show <laughs> itself. Not yeah. your dancers or not right. your people. I, right. Not your models. Not I'm your not dresses. Gonna, I'm not going to get to the show part because at that point, you had just come there. Yeah. And for you to just come there to do that to an individual. Well, I'm sorry. I apologize. That, that hurt me. I was, well, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I just needed to take out the frustration on why didn't you have somebody out there to meet me and tell me where to park? And that's what I kept thinking is that yeah. this is their thing. They're, they do this. This is their was deal. The parking, they, was the parking space at front of the store that we kicked too many people out for you? That was available? great. Today. <laughs> That's how it should be. Okay. I want to make sure. All right. So, I make but I mean, sure. I had you at my studio. I rehearsed 100%. the kids. I, I know. Hundred percent. I didn't get paid for any of did that. Did you see the show? Come I did out? that. The episode of our the no. episode we did. No, show? no I haven't seen anything but ABC, ABC CBS. CBS. Okay, so ABC we did Lifetime. Down and Out in Beverly Hills season Lifetime. four. Lifetime. Abby's on episode seven, right? Yes. And it was a great episode. And I'm in the hot seat. I'm sorry. Great episode. No, I I remember just being like. Overwhelmed. No, like angry. angry. Yeah. Just so angry. And one guy at the bottom is telling you to go up to the top. And the guy at the right. top saying, I don't have anything. They should have been at the bottom. And no, he's back there. And yeah. it was, I was, I even I was told you, I remember telling you the freaking buildings from 1920. I, know. <laughs> well, I don't know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Like, so I now, have I no know, idea. I know I can't go there anymore. Right. To, if there's any event there, I can't go. But no. I, but you accept Abby's apology, and now we're putting I, this I'm, aside. I'm sorry for hurting your feelings, and I'm sorry for... I don't think I embarrassed you in front of people, but but if you felt that I was embarrassing you in front of anyone... I, but I probably made myself look bad, too. So You did. I, yeah. So, <laughs> so I think I was just absolutely <laughs> furious. And I remember going into, like, a little bar yeah. to get a Coca-Cola... Or something. Yep. And then yeah. people in there being drunk and falling all over me in the chair and, and tripping you know, over and, the wheels. And, and you know what I thought of when that was happening, that moment? I thought of when you took the time, didn't have your car, and made your way to downtown the day that I got beaten up. Yeah. Yes. Remember? And I thought, this is the woman that took the time to come to downtown for the show. I got beaten up. 
Yes. She encouraged On the subway. Me. You came I, on I the was, subway. Yes. On a train or something. A train, yes, yeah. Yes. And Didn't I thought, know where I was going. Yeah. Now she's telling me off. So I waited, I waited, and I thought to myself, okay, this is different than attack on me. But then when you said I've dealt with it hurt him. I thought to it myself, hurt him. I work really? with I'm such an established most of the human. people in my world. Like I'm not are one gay. of the ones that you right. picked up off. Are gay. Right. You, you I know. know I'm most of the people in my world are gay. So I that I, was an endearing comment. <laughs> <laughs> endearing. I mistook the endearing comment to be. Yeah, because a fairy is a good thing. Well, they do call me I'm fairy, fairy godmother. godmother. Oh, see, I'm fairy godmother because I've you know yes. changed these kids' lives. They call uh, me fairy gown mother. They do. Gown so, mother. There we go. Well, hopefully, I'll have a fairy gown one day. I you will. That. Thank you very much for the apology. Thank you. I didn't know that was on the list. Actually, it was. <laughs> Thank you. Look at this. <laughs> well, Abby. We love you, adore you. I'm telling you, one of the best things tonight. I didn't tonight, like her until now again. That you guys you liked have. liked me when I was making you step ball change. Yes. <laughs> you guys have. The bridge has been put together. I love it. I love that you guys we are. We the bridge. Everything the bridge. is good. Yes. Um, we got to wrap up. We could have you here all day long. I know. Seriously. I want to try on every one of these. Someday. And you will. Someday. Definitely will. Um, you've just been undressed by Paul and Patrick. How do you feel? Oh, my goodness. I dress. Yes. That's two more on my list. Thank you for being our guest. We love you, adore you. Thank you for having me. Well, you haven't had me yet, but thank you for inviting <laughs> me here. You're and very uh, okay, Abby, where can tell our, our our listeners where can we find you? I'm on Instagram at the real Abby Lee, also TikTok, and my new podcast. Leave it on the dance floor. I love it. We're gonna come be be on leave the guest. Leave it on the dance floor, of course. We're doing it. Thank you, Abby. Bye, bitches! Bye. We're done! Thank you, everybody, for tuning in for another fashionable podcast. Yes. Undressed. Hey, I'm going to tell everybody some amazing news. Gowning Out in Beverly Hills was nominated for two American Reality Television Awards, and the public can vote. So take out your phones and text the word ARTAS, A-R-T-A-S, to 40691 and vote for us in two categories. Our two categories are Art Direction and Best Reality TV Moment. Best moment ever! Or you can just go to vote dot the artist.com this podcast is brought to you by vocal podcast network and american media television executive producers are michaela simon pola two and patrick simpson produced by ariana giles and sarah silicula shooting and editing by jordan hill music by digital camo artwork by dominique demetz and hosted by pola two patrick simpson and little snow white 90210 Remember to follow at Pole A2 and at Patrick Simpson and at Snow White 90210 and watch Gown and Out in Beverly Hills on Prime Video. And don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast so you'll never miss an episode.